Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Namasha Arora. So today I am actually going to be doing my hair like I'm going to straighten my hair and I'm going to be talking about the things or the mistakes which you, which you should avoid as a student here in Australia and these are the mistakes which I sort of made or my friends made and I'm just sharing that experience with you guys. So stay tuned. The first mistake which I made was not choosing a proper accommodation or a living situation. So what students do in student life, like we usually uh, like seven, eight students try and live together to save money and stuff. So this is just the heat protect stuff. Yeah. So what we do is we try and start living together and seven, eight people, all girls trying to, you know, save up money and stuff. Or even other people like you know but when you come back home and you really don't have a proper place to sleep or you don't really have a proper you know happy home to come back to and you're like sad or it's dirty or it's not according to you or it's you know it's not really comfortable don't do that don't ever 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 do that sleep routine or your cooking like you know your house should be a happy place a good place where you come back but if you have like really cool friends and when you you know you guys are living together and you guys are having fun doesn't matter that's absolutely cool go ahead have fun live like that that's the best way to enjoy your student life so the mistake which i made was i was living in a place but i was not really happy and I wasn't comfortable. So it took me a long period of time to realize that. And trust me, the best thing I did was to move out. So definitely do not torture yourself by staying in a wrong place or in a toxic situation. Okay, so that's the first Thing you should always care about the next thing which you should care about okay do not burn yourself while you're straightening your hair because that's very common okay the next thing which you guys should care about is your health yes your eating habits your health when you're working that hard, like you, if you're going to save like 13K or 15K in like six months, definitely you'll be working so hard and you'll mostly be doing night shifts or doing longer shifts and stuff. So as your situation may, you've got to eat. You've got to eat good food. You've got to eat stuff which is good for you and your health, you know, like brain food and strong, happy, healthy food fruits veggies don't ever do that because what i did was i didn't know how to cook and i used to literally depend on junk food and outside food and shit and uh, when i went for my blood test i had like low iron low vitamin d um yeah really tired i used to get dizzy at work like i started getting dizzy on my morning shifts because i won't eat breakfast and i'll just go and start working at like 7 a.m and I'm working so hard and suddenly I'll just start feeling dizzy. Okay. When I went in and checked my blood pressure, it was like 96. And when I went to the doctors to check it, it was 88, which is sort of like a med call, you know, like you, you're going to die, sort of. Yeah. So my blood pressure was that low and she did some blood tests on me and then she told me, Hey, uh, you have low iron. Either you can get an iron infusion, which would cost you like $500, $600, in which you'll have to find a doctor who would be willing to sit with you for like 30 minutes and do your iron infusion. Find a blood bank for your blood type and blah, blah, blah. And so much chaotic and stuff. Or eat iron tablets for like three months continuously morning and night 
and the dose was like really high. So what happens when you start eating iron tablets is it makes uh, you very constipated and you get black stool. So I didn't eat those tablets. I didn't get a blood transfusion. Um, so what I did was I like modified my diet, sort of, not really. But yes, I know I should practice what I preach, but I don't want you guys to make that mistake, like the way I made. But I have started eating a lot of good iron rich food and stuff, okay? forgot like I forgot to put the heat protection stuff I went another layer okay okay so what was I saying about health right in health another the next thing is it's under health is your skin and in your skin like you can see my face has got a lot of marks and stuff this all happened by using masks so during the COVID time, it was so hard and we definitely like it was compulsory to wear mask at work. And in like summers, it's really hot like here. Like in Delhi, not Delhi hot, but hot, still hot. And my face was getting like really sensitive and I got a lot of pimples and a lot of marks and I used to like just pop them and stuff. I was so st doing stupid stuff, you know, and you've got to take care of your skin in your eyes and your teeth and everything because yeah everything is different and you know you're sort of doing it by yourself parents monitor come sugar khao, go do this and that and you've got to take care <laughs> then we used to go to school and we used to make like the small fountains yeah <clears throat> so what was i saying yeah You've got to take care of your body and your teeth and your face. Okay, and your eyes. Because eyes can eat you, you'll start developing really bad um, dark circles from doing night shifts and all. You've got to take care of yourself. Okay. Health. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Next, the point is your GPA. So, what is GPA? When you're, you're sort of working, with credits in your course so her course make credit points with them and they make a gpa out of it i don't know gross gross blah blah i don't know something like hamaris cgp hota tha na, cbsc pe, sort of like that and you've got to maintain a good gpa so bola jata hai ki, if you have like more than six gpa in your studies you can it's good for your PR and stuff and you get like sort of in uni also you get awarded if your GPA was very good GPA chodo yaar you've got a pass okay studies pe focus bahut important hai so even if you're working really hard or bahut achhi shift mili hai but agar agle din assignment hai and you're not sure ki maine sahi likha hai ya you know mujhe aur cheeze add karni hai so do bhaad mein jai shift doesn't matter you've got to go and work on your assignment you've got to pass the course the sooner you finish your course the better cause what happens is like i'm in third year mein hoon mere saath ke log they are like sort of failing Ooh, <laughs> that burnt i guess yeah so they failed third year mein agar you said first time mein koi bhi subject mein aap fail hote ho that means you've got to repeat the subject next year in the first semester. Visa khatam hone wale March mein. Now they've got to extend the visa. Visa extend karne ke alag paise di. Phir se wahi process hoga. They've got to show money and they've got to, you know, perform all those things again. So that's why I'm telling you, focus on your studies. Finish your course. Lag rahe kuch bhi doesn't matter kaam hai ye hai wo i don't care you've got to finish your course on time do your assignments okay properly exams properly padho cuz india jitna difficult padhai hai hi nahi it's like nothing here you're not studying that hard you're not doing that many assignments it's all self learning and they usually give you the revision 
contents or most in most modules they give you what your revision content and even for exams like you don't have exam for every subject you've like got two or three exams in one semester and then the last semester you've only got one exam i told you this before already you've got, you can go and watch the video again so what was i saying yeah so you've got to focus on your exams on your studies because you have to karne kya aaya nurse banne aaye we've got to graduate on time agar zaruri hai yeah or assignment se hi related the core incident that i want to share is never ever ever share your content like your study material or your assignment study material i don't care but apne assignments galti se bhi kisi ko nahi dena never ever do not share your assignments <laughs> so what happened with me was i shared my assignment to my friend and he was like please 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 i just want to see kaise karna hai ye wo ye wo and i sent him my assignment and the beautiful soul he literally copy pasted all my uh, ideas and all my um uh, um essay exactly the same and i got 85% plagiarism a plagiarism ha ka bahut hi badi cheez hai it's like you the, you can even go to jail if you plagiarize in your assignments and now how can i explain this to the uni that i only shared to him for his like i was trying to explain this to him to the uni and blah blah and finally it was happy cuz they said it was my first time and they're going to you know um what they're going to spare me and they gave me another assignment to do i never told this to my family so if they are watching this video they're going to know this and they're going to be angry on me so yeah okay one second pani break hmm so never ever 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 <laughs> share your assignment with anyone okay ow okay next yeah next is actually going to be stay hydrated and i kept the bottle near me to say that stay hydrated but i already showed you the example by drinking so yeah stay hydrated focus on yourself you are here in this country to build yourself cuz tum akele aayo yaar you've got to build yourself you've got to grow wahi same cheeze wahi same galtiyan jo india mein kar rahi thi you know ghar pe baith ke wahi karunge yahan pe bhi then what's the point what's the point my parents send you you know wo hoti nahi hai school teacher wali vibe de rahi hu main i'm sorry for that like strict wali vibes de rahi hu main but you've got to do what you've got to do so baal to straight nahi ho paaye puri tarike se but ho sakta hai to main baat samajh aa gayi hu meri right I'm gonna time lapse the next part and show you the end look. Okay, so bye. Oh no, no bye. Okay, so this is the final. I think आगे भी थोड़ा सा इधर है I'm gonna fix it. But I hope you understood what I said, and you could try and do those things when you come here. But if you want to give any suggestions or have any sort of questions, you can definitely ask me. but i'm actually not doing consultation like it's not like i'm a professional consultant or stuff cuz i'm just a student so please don't ask me heavy questions cuz i'm really not sure about them but if you ask me like small questions i can definitely help cuz i did um, help out a few people who reached out to me on my instagram as well so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and please go and subscribe my channel and uh, give me suggestions if what all do you want me to cover and i hope this helps and try and follow these things when you come here 
and all the best. Bye.